Hey everyone, this is just going to be a really basic tutorial just showing you a quick way that you can add a drop shadow or cast shadow to your characters in Photoshop. So to do this you need your character or your object on its own layer and on this right hand side in the layers section I'm going to duplicate that image by pressing Ctrl and J and with that new image selected I'm going to press Ctrl and U. And what that does is it brings up this hue saturation slider I'm going to turn lightness all the way to the left and hit OK. So this is actually going to be our shadow. I'm actually going to select that shadow layer and drag it below our original layer. So it's there, it's just hidden away behind it. So I'm still on the shadow layer. I'm going to press Ctrl and T to select it. Right click within that box and then select Distort. Now obviously it depends where your light source is as to where your shadow is going to be but we're going to use some assumptions here and just create a generic shadow and I'm going to do that by selecting this top central node and then simply drag it where you want your shadow to be. So let's have mine over here a little bit and this image is quite a good example because his feet are not completely horizontal I'm going to need to select this bottom right node because of the shadow below his foot I'm going to drag that until I'm happy with the way that it lines up. Once you're happy with where that is, press enter on your keyboard. You could obviously leave yours like that. What I sometimes do is I just turn this layer down over here with the opacity slider. So play around with it until you like where it is. Usually cast shadows are darker towards the object. So from here you could create a gradient or you can get your eraser tool by pressing E on the keyboard right clicking and selecting a soft edge brush. From there you can either use your tablet or you can use it with a mouse as well um, just to fade out your shadow a little bit. There are loads of different methods you could use to get this effect. So now that we've adjusted that you might even want to turn up your shadow, turn it down, whatever is best for you. So again we've got a nice shadow there. If you really wanted you could go in and neaten this up a little bit because it's not perfect. It is only a very quick option. But there you have it, that's how you can create a really basic shadow. Alternatively with this character, I actually created a little base for him. Now because the shadow's turned down, it works quite well already. But if I wanted that on full opacity, so I'll turn it back up to 100%. But because there's something on the layer below it, we can play around with this option here, the layer modes. They will all give a different effect, but some of them, like Colour Burn or even Overlay, work quite nicely. So I'm going to leave it at that. Hopefully you guys found this one useful. If you did, make sure you hit that like button and leave me a comment below. Let me know if you have any other methods or what other videos you guys want to see in the future. Make sure that you subscribe and turn notifications on for future content. Thanks for watching everyone.